I have a quick word for you, and the word is, you are blessed. Brothers and sisters, a lot of people think that they are cursed, but the truth is, you are blessed. You are blessed if you have consideration for the poor, if you consider the poor, if you are the person who does not pass by a poor person, if you say somebody who's poor, and you uh, help them out in what they are doing, you are blessed. Today's word is from the book of Psalm chapter 41, verse 1 to 3. Psalm chapter 41, verse 1 to 3. And it reads, Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he will be blessed on earth. You will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. You will sustain him on his sickbed. Now, this is uh, what the psalmist had to say. Remember, the psalmist was a man who walked with God. And he understood this fact. Despite the fact that he was rich, he knew that for him to be blessed, for him to be considered truly blessed, he had to consider the poor. So my brothers and sisters, some of you are surrounded with people, people who are poor. Yes, I know some of you could call yourself poor. But remember that Jesus became poor, that you may become rich as a child of God. You are not supposed to be poor. Poverty must not be your posture. You are supposed to be the light of this world. In fact, you are the light of this world. The, the world has to look at you as an example. Just as we look at Jesus as an example. Jesus is the only way to the Father. So there are some people who will never know of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Except you help them out. Sometimes... Preaching the word of God may not even uh, be able to convince them that there is a God. But if they see that you are a giver, if I wish I'm speaking to somebody, when they see that you are for the good of the kingdom of God, when you see somebody suffering and you decide to help them, it may be something very small. It may be a shirt that you give to that person. It may be a cloth, a blanket. But it means a lot to that person. It may be something small like a shoe. Brothers and sisters, you are blessed. A lot of people say that they have nothing to give. And yet there is something to give. There is always something to give. Even that one who considers himself poor has something to give. You have something to give to the world. Some, of, some people may think that uh, giving to the poor means just giving material things. It could be a word. A word from the Lord, Yes. God works in you. So you have to speak the word. And the word will transform them. I remember when I was reading a story in the scripture of uh, the, 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 the apostles who met a man at the gate of beautiful. And as I was reading, uh, this man expected uh, the apostles to uh, give him arms. In fact, to give him something. He was begging. But the apostles looked at him. They said, silver and gold. I do not have, but what I have, I give unto you. And they said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. The man started walking. So my brothers and sisters, you have something in you. The word is in you. Jesus is in you. You can cause healing to somebody. Do not say that you have nothing to give. Because these apostles, they knew that they, have some, they had something to give. Yes, they did not have silver and gold, but they had uh, a word for the man, and the world made him well. That word that you speak to somebody who's on the streets, that word can make them well. That word that you speak to somebody who uh, seems as though he has lost his mind, that word can transform him. The word is powerful. It is powerful. It is living and active. So do not despise the word of God. Now, 41 says that blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. If you consider the poor brothers and sisters, God is going to deliver you in times of trouble. 
Some of you are in trouble. And God will deliver you. God will deliver you because you have considered the poor. This is what the scripture says. Scripture says that God will keep preserve him and keep him alive. Some of you have been preserved. You have been kept alive by God. There are things that have tried to kill you. Why lest you are asleep? There are witches, warlocks that have tried to penetrate your house, that have tried to destroy your family, but you still stand. Some of you would have died in your sleep. Haven't you heard of uh, news of people who died in their sleep? Where they go to sleep, they are okay. They wake up dead. They wake up dead. That person had it in mind that he wake up alive and do his daily activities. But when he wakes up, he's dead. He finds himself in another realm. That's what I'm trying to say. So my brothers and sisters, God will preserve you. Just like he preserved the children of Israel. Now the scripture says, and he will be blessed on earth. Not in heaven. The scripture says, on earth you will be blessed. While you are still on earth, you will be blessed. You will not deliver him and the, to the will of his enemies. God will not deliver you to the will of your enemies. They, you will be too hard to handle. I know some of you have a lot of enemies. In fact, there is another term that is called frenemies. Those who pretend as though they are friends, but they are enemies. God will not deliver you to their will. They want to put you down. They want to destroy your reputation. They want to uh, put, in fact, they have put traps for you to fall in them. But God will not deliver you to the will of your enemies because God is a strong tower. Scripture says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs to it and he is safe. You are not righteous because of your works. You are righteous because of Jesus Christ. You have received the righteousness of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the scripture also says, the Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. Are you sick right now? In fact, are you ill? Have confidence in God. That God is going to strengthen you. The scripture doesn't say that you will not, have, you will not be, be ill. It says, while you are ill, the Lord will strengthen you on your bed of illness. How I wish I'm speaking to somebody right now. That God is going to strengthen you. You will sustain him on his sick bed. That's what the scripture says. That God will sustain you on your sick bed. God is going to sustain you. When the enemies think that they have put something to destroy your life. Or they have sent a sickness, an illness. God is going to sustain you. That disease is not going to take you by surprise. That disease is not going to take you down. Because you have overcome the world because jesus overcame the world brothers and sisters this is grace i have come to the end of this message and if you have found this message to be a blessing to you this ministry to be a blessing to you you can be a blessing to this ministry through your giving you can give through my paypal my paypal account is in the link in the description you can also send me messages of encouragement to encourage me you can also uh send me your prayer request and i'll pray with you through my uh, email address or through my uh, Facebook page. That's where you can send me your, your prayer requests. And God will bless you. And until next time, shalom.